Hey there, Canadian History students. It is April 21st, and uh, I'm coming at you with your online class of the day, which is going to be a relatively short one uh, here in uh, the land of social distancing. Anyhow, so, uh, first of all, first things first, if you have not sent me a reflection, right, uh, you can still do it, send me the reflection, and I will take it, and I will gladly mark it. Uh, I'm clearing out my other class first, but my hope is to have the reflections marked by, at the very latest, Thursday, right? So if you have not sent me your reflection yet, send it over so that I can mark it. So that's, that's first on the list. Now, the other thing is, if you haven't filled out my form, right, and I think only seven people have so far, right, about how you want to do your CPT, please fill it out as soon as possible so that we can get this business going, right? So, uh, later in the week, I will get in touch with people uh, about the right time to do this, right? Probably I'll do that on Wednesday. So, for now, please fill out the form so that I can see what everyone wants to do. Alright. So, I wanted to talk about those presentations today in our uh, time together, right? And give you a quick example presentation that is meant to show you exactly how one of these things is supposed to look like, what you're supposed to do, and everything like that. Now, when I present, I intend to use my PowerPoint slides, right? Because, you know, I've already made them, so why not? But we should remember what I said yesterday about uh, how you're not required to use PowerPoint slides if you don't uh, need them, right? Uh, if you don't have the ability to make them, right? So they're not part of the assignment. If you make them, as you'll see, they're kind of useful, but uh, you don't have to, right? So please keep that in mind. So. My presentation about what makes Canada into the country we are today uh, will be about our Prime Minister, Jean Chrétien, right? He was Prime Minister of Canada in the 1990s, and he, uh, while a relatively recent Prime Minister, was a very important Prime Minister. So, again, he was Prime Minister of Canada from 1993 to 2003, and was from the Liberal Party, and he was Prime Minister during a very prosperous time in Canadian history, right, and helped lead our country out of the Cold War, right, because the Soviet Union, of course, fell apart in 1989, right, and uh, after that it was a new era in Canadian history, and John Kutcher was at the front of our country at that time. He's the Prime Minister that brought Canada into the war in Afghanistan, and he's also the Prime Minister who decided to keep Canada out of the Iraq War. So, why is he important? Well, there are a couple of different reasons. I'll start with uh, 1995, right? In 1995, Quebec tried to separate from Canada with a rem rep referendum, right? and. Uh, for a very long time in 1995, people thought Quebec really was, this time, for real, going to leave, right? But Jean Chrétien, uh, who was, by the way, from Quebec, right, staged a massive campaign to try to convince Quebecers to stay in Canada, right? That's the non-campaign, right? It was we, as in yes, and non, right? So he was instrumental in pushing back against the separatists, and that referendum was won uh, by 50.58% to 49.42%. And our man, Jean Chrétien, deserves a lot of credit for that very, very, very narrow victory, right? So his defeating the referendum is one of the things that made him important at the time. And I would say the other thing that makes him important uh, for the time is that he stayed out of Iraq, right? So he refused to send Canada to help the war in Iraq because George W. Bush did not have a UN Security Council authorization, right? So the Canadian government at that time was under huge pressure to join the so-called Coalition of the Willing and attack Iraq for no good reason. 
right? But Jean Chrétien, at that time, stood up to the Americans and did not go to war with the American with the Americans against uh, Iraq, right? And that was behavior that's consistent with Canada being a peacekeeper, right? So. What that shows is that he, you know, kept us out of a very, very destructive war that claimed uh, hundreds of thousands of lives. So that's another reason for Jean Chrétien's importance. In terms of his impact today, well, the main thing I think we get from Jean Chrétien is that Quebec is still part of our country, right? Uh, and at least right now, there isn't uh, much talk about there being another referendum to leave the country and we still have other French Canadians like you know Justin Trudeau they're still part of our country and our economy still benefits from having Quebec with us and of course we still have two official languages uh, in Canada French and English right and I will underscore again in terms of the impact right Canada it did not go to Iraq right and we're still as a consequence respected internationally, right? We don't have blood on our hands the way America does, right? And no Canadian soldiers were pointlessly lost in Iraq, right? And around the world, I would say Canada is still known as a peacekeeping country, right? And we can travel around the world without fear, unlike Americans, right? In fact, what happens, you may have heard of this, when Americans go traveling as tourists, what they often do is they'll sew a Canadian flag to their backpack, right, and pretend to be Canadians, right? And the reason they do that is because, well, you go around the world and not many people like Americans, right? But if you go around the world as a Canadian, well, you'll be liked a lot more, right? So that's another thing that John Cochin contributed to Canada. So what I would say is my conclusion is that John Cochin, he wasn't perfect, but he led Canada through a troubled time. And our country is better off for thanks to his leadership. And that will conclude my presentation. So, was that good? That was about, you know, six, seven minutes, right? So, you know, that's roughly what you should be going for. I mean, I know it says on the paper eight, but if you can get within that ballpark, I'm not going to be uh, too fussed. But the presentation has three clear parts, right? Identify it, right? Tell us who it is, right? So who is John Crutcher? Just like I have written up there, right? You talk about what the person is and what they did, right? Or if it's an event like, you know, FLQ or something like that, you tell us who the FLQ is. Or if it's, you know, trench warfare, you tell us what trench warfare is, right? Identification comes first. Then after that, it's importance, right? Why was this thing important at the time, right? And then after that, it's impact. How is this still important right now, right? So it's those three steps that you're supposed to bring across in your presentation, right? Now, remember, you don't need slides, but as you can see, right, having them is kind of helpful, right? You know, so if you want to make them, go ahead, make them, use them, right? It's, it's kind of good. So uh, that is an example presentation. That's what you have to do for whichever of these topics you decide to choose, right? And remember, you can choose whatever you want. I don't mind if people repeat because, well, again, you know, we're not all in the same classroom, so I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, everyone just doing the same thing. So that part we're not going to worry about. So that's the plan for uh, the presentation. So again, if you have not signed up, with uh, the form, right? I'll include a link in the email. Please, please sign up, right? And give me the time and the way you want to do this. And uh, we will start to finish this course off. So I hope that was helpful, guys. And I hope you guys are having a good week. And I will see you next time.